Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris or Spirit. I hope you're all doing well. This is your reading for May 22nd to June 5th, but as you know, time is an illusion, so whenever you find this reading, if it resonates with you, it was meant for you. This is for Pisces, okay? Pisces. So I used the decks that I am using this month are Halloween inspired because obviously I'm a big Halloween person. So one of them is the Animal Spirit deck, which is one of my favorites as well as my Nightmare Before Christmas deck, which was gifted to me for Christmas, and I absolutely love this deck. And then my Halloween Oracle deck, which was gifted to me off my Amazon wish list, which people do from time to time. My wish list is listed under my link tree if you're interested. No obligation. You know, you don't have to do that, but a lot of people do that just because they love to see some of the cards be used. And then I also bought myself a deck. I don't know if some of you have five and below's where you live, but I have a five and below now near us. And I went in there and I go in there occasionally and in the book section they actually had affirmation cards. So I bought this Make Today Magical because it was the last one there. And so I pulled a card from that as well to channel for you today. So let's get to your reading. I'm going to flip it over and then we are going to get into your reading. And then I will flip the animal card over at the end. So let's see what we have for you Pisces. What messages we have for the collective. So I'm getting a lot of witchy spiritual star seed energy so for the group of the collective that are watching this you're very awoke you're very intuitive and you're very much in the realm of this you know i know this is a funny magician card but this is about being both male or female it doesn't matter what energy no i don't talk about gender i talk about energy so it's anybody unless i'm specifically told it's a male or female or transgender or whatever the case may be okay but usually that doesn't come through. <clears throat> it will come through in a private reading, but in a general reading like this, I don't tap into that type of information because it's more personable. So this is the card of the witches. This is the card of magic. This is the card of intuitiveness, starseed energy, spiritual energy, manipulating energy, etc. So for the group of you that are watching this reading Pisces, there's a lot of give and flow right now. There's a lot of energy going on right now because of the world and our situation right now. And I'm not going to go into great detail because I don't talk about politics or religion. But there is a lot of shit going on. So you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Everybody's feeling it. And you need to stay grounded and focused on our purpose. Okay? That's number one. Number two is the needle card is about mending fences with someone. There's a group of you that are struggling with forgiving someone for something now is the time to fucking shed that crap get rid of that negative vibe of holding on to anger towards people that hurt you it's time to purge that shit i know it's really hard and people think by hanging on to it you're going to get back at the person and they're going to get their karma but honestly it's 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 no it's not healthy to walk around with that anger in your body it's not healthy at all not healthy at all now the star card came out. This is amazing. Opportunities are about to approach you, Pisces. There's a group of you that are working on creative entrepreneur energy. Whether it's, I feel like some of you may be on social media and be somewhat successful. You're going to be even more bigger when you tap into something at the end of this year. And then I'm also seeing someone who is working on, a group of you working on some creative parts of your life where you're not sure if you should do it or not. And... I have feel you know what's weird is I'm being shown motorcycles so I feel like this is to tap into those of you who are mechanic inclined either with motorcycles mopeds no I'm seeing motorcycles they're saying nope not mopeds motorcycles and old cars that you're tapping into that energy and you're going to be super successful with the project that you have going on that's a very specific message for somebody then we have the Halloween card. It's the skull of light. It's about illumination. It's about you shining. So this goes hand in hand with this vehicle information with the, the motorcycle. Okay. You're going to shine. People are going to see your work and want you to help them with their projects. And you, and I feel like, and so this is the weird message that I'm getting. You work some kind of job that doesn't have to do with the restoration of bikes, motorcycles, or cars. However, you're very good at it, but you never did it as a job. And someone is going to see your work or there's going to be word of mouth and you're going to be very super successful at it and you're going to be able to go away from your daily job and do what you love. 
that is in the next year. This is a very specific message for a very specific Pisces. So I just had to give that message that Spirit was guiding me to give. Hopefully whoever finds it will find this reading. So your animal card and you know the eggs I was just saying in one of my readings I can't remember which reading but there was one other reading I did this month that actually got an egg card and the egg card is super rare, rare to get in readings um I think I've gotten two of them in my private readings and one in YouTube or two in YouTube so this is the cosmic egg and I will share with you that information because it goes hand in hand with some special messages okay completion harmony the infinite with the finite Okay, so this is why I said at the beginning of this, this is for the witches, star seeds, and empaths, people like me. Okay, that's why this is super important for you to pay attention. The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck, and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time, and through self effort and grace, we experience self realization. A sense of content, contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. This is our old programming being lifted, okay? For those of you who don't understand. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone, disconnected from others, even if our encounter with this card is brief appearing as a momentary glimmer or a flash of interconnectedness its potent energy stays with us the cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life it's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning we hold on to life and life holds on to us the journey is complete but it does not end so the cosmic egg is connected to the seventh chakra. The subtle essence of the cosmic egg resides at the crown chakra at the top of the head called Sasara. Okay. One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward towards the Sahasara. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey, and once the final epicenter of consciousness is activated, it is said to radiate the light of a million suns. So what I want you to do is two things I need to tell you. One, I want you to take a screenshot of this image.